What's going on, y'all? It's your boy back at you with another video. And I'm going to make this video real quick. And I ain't making no more about Kwame Brown. But I'm going to say this. Uh, I just want to send my shout out to uh, Kwame Brown. I got no beef with that man. I'm not trying to get a name off that man either. So let's just nip that in the bud, okay? All I said was that if he would have really put in the work, his career would have been better. That's all I meant to say. But y'all wanna wanna run, wanna blow everything out of proportion. Like I'm trying to get clout. <laughs> but see, let's just face it. And a lot of YouTubers go through this. I wanna talk about Monty Woodgram. And Monty said something that's that it a, a light bulb in my head went off. He said that people complain about me talking about Hassan Campbell, right? But when I don't talk about him, nobody watches. Let's just face it. And I understand, I understand this pain. And now I'm about to tell y'all something. Nobody watches this channel. Nobody. Nobody watches this channel. If I don't talk about people, nobody will watch. So what is it like to clout chase? I don't understand. Clout chase. Somebody called me a clout chaser. And the common thing, I hear that all the time. I heard somebody just now, they're making a live screen talking about clout chasers. But we all know if you're not beefing, if you're not talking about somebody, nobody watches. Nobody watches. When I did that video about not to chase people, um, um, the video, what else? I mean, I made a, another video. You know, I made a lot of positive videos. Nobody wants to watch them. Nobody. Nobody wants to hear nothing positive. Let's just face and be honest. You like drama. They like I could I could get it easily get a thousand. If I just made a thousand this videos. When I talked about ticket TV, that's the only time people watched. But we can't just talk about regular stuff. I can't talk about regular basketball videos because nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to listen. And I'm going to tell you another thing people don't want to listen to. People don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear it. Anything truthful, people start crying. Kwame Brown's career could have been better if he'd have put in the work. That's all I said. It's the truth. That's all I said. And people got mad. I didn't even curse in the video because I'm not going to curse them. Oh, Lord. Because people start unsubscribing. People are so sensitive. Y'all are so sensitive. That we got a bunch of grown men that love trauma. But you just won't admit it. Won't you admit it? Y'all like trauma. If I don't diss somebody, don't nobody even want to watch. I try. I make positive videos. I make them every Wednesday. I do Bible studies every Wednesday. But I don't call it that because nobody wants to talk about God. Nobody wants to talk about God. You know, I just don't understand. You don't want to talk about God. You don't want to talk about dating. You don't want to hear, you don't want to hear nothing positive. So what do you want people to do to talk about clout chasers? Y'all talk about clout chasers. But then Kwame Brown clout chase? Didn't he clout chase off of um, the Breakfast Club. Then he clout chase off a, of, off a. Of, uh, I'm gonna get this tonight. Off off of Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes. Then he clout chase off of them. Because let's just face it. No shout out, no diss to Kwame. But if he didn't talk about Stephen A. Smith. If he didn't talk about Charlemagne the God, if he didn't talk about Matt Barnes, if he didn't talk about Stephen Jackson, y'all wouldn't even look at his channel. 
it's beef and the, the cursing them out and all that, that attracted them. That's what made him attractive to y'all. Because before then, when nobody even talking about Kwame Brown. He was the NBA bust. The era, he was the butt of everybody's jokes. No this, just the truth. We can't never just be honest up here, can we? The comment section, I was called all type of clowns. I was called, I was called because I understand that's your man's. But why can't I just tell the truth? Why? You know, we have to, and that's the problem. And I'm going to keep saying it. And it's a broken record. But I'm going to keep saying it. That YouTube and just in America, period, black, we have to tear somebody else down to build ourselves up. You know, it, it's sad that that's the only thing people want to hear is you talking about somebody. Because when I talk about regular stuff, I can't even get 30 views. Go look. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's very, very obvious that if you don't talk about nobody, nobody even watches. You wouldn't even watch Kwame Brown if you won't dissing Charlemagne. Because none of y'all really like Charlemagne and, Steve, and Stephen A. Smith anyway. So for him to go out there and do all and cuss them out, you enjoyed it, didn't you? So don't sit here because I, I say something about somebody that, oh, I'm a clout chaser. That burned me up. Because what I'm clout chasing off, I don't make no money off of this. I can barely get, I can barely get 350 subscribers. But what, the, what, what am I going to clout chase for? For what? What I get out of tearing another man down? I ain't up here making, this channel's out here worse than me, making videos every day about the same person. Every day. Every day, they doing diss videos every day. Do I do all of that? But you calling me a clout chaser. I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid for this. So y'all are bugging because people don't like to hear the truth. People don't want to be honest, do you? I, I, I just like, when I talk about the Lakers, nobody listens. They falling, they falling apart and nobody even listens. They say I'm a hater. They say all this because I go by what I see. But y'all call me a clock chaser. I made videos. Don't nobody listen. Nobody watches. Let's just face it. You like clown, you like clowns, don't you? You want entertainment. You want performance, don't you? You want performance. You don't want to hear real the real truth. You want people to dance around the problem, don't you? Instead of just, just coming out with it. That what I said about Kwame was what everybody was thinking, but I just I had enough balls to say it. Because a lot of people. He, he's, he's their money. What I get out, what I get out of destroying it, what I get out of putting down somebody else, I get nothing out of that. But I just felt like that. I just, I said that he should make peace, make peace, not just for, just for Stephen A. Smith, but for himself. Because I understand he took years of abuse, but cussing everybody out, what good is that doing? What is that doing? Nothing. That's so all I said. I'm just being objective. But yeah, everybody wants to come in here and say, I'm a clout chaser. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I've been following basketball since I was a child. I know the game of basketball like the, like, like the back of my mind, like riding a bicycle. But y'all, y'all are so stuck on, you want the clown show, don't you? You want juggling acts. We just can't talk intelligence. Why can't I just talk intelligent? Why we just can't just diagnose the problem and fix it? But nobody wants to fix it. Nobody wants the solution. Nobody wants the solution to nothing. But you call me a clout chaser. Cause I cause I made a video, you know, it, it just don't make sense. You guys don't make sense. That's why I'm, I'm really beginning to hate YouTube. 
Because all you get is, a, all you hear is a bunch of haters, man. We can't talk about nothing positive, can we? We can never talk about nothing positive. Because you don't want to hear nothing positive. You don't want to hear that. You don't, you don't want to hear that, man. Nobody has any solutions to anything. It, it's just sad. It's sad. I just can't, we just can't talk about regular stuff. Because regular stuff don't sell. And you know it don't sell. So why keep crying in the comment section? Stop crying because you know, that's the only way you won't look at me. Other than that, nobody would be here if I didn't talk about him. And that's the sad part. And you wouldn't be looking at him if he didn't diss Charlotte Bain and, and Stephen A. Smith. Right? They are clout chase. Tasha K. Because she dissed Cardi B? How I many videos she made? She, Tasha K really owes Cardi B a royalty check. Talk to me. All day long, Jada Black. He's another one. All he does is talk about, about, about celebrities. But if he don't talk about celebrities, nobody even be looking at him. Keep it real. Y'all love celeb. I noticed y'all love celebrities. People love celebrities more than they love their own kids. They know how much money Jay Z got, but you don't know what, what 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 your grade, what your kids' grades look like in school. Because we concentrate more on celebrities than we do in our own lives. You worrying about what another man got in his pocket? How sad is that? Sad, man. Y'all are pitiful and sad. For as black people, we are pitiful. <clears throat> I don't want to tear nobody down. I just felt like that if he if he would have worked on his skills, he could have been better. That's all I said. I'm not trying to diss nobody. That's all I said. But yeah, I'm the bad guy because I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking in silence. Why not just come out with it? I can make a thousand videos on Ticket, and I get thousands of views. Everybody made half of these people, these YouTubers, collab with Ticket, but then they turn around and diss Ticket. Talk, let's keep for real. Let's get for real. Make thousands of videos on Ticket TV. A lot of people do it. They set their channels up off this man. I'm not doing that. Let's keep it real. But I'm a clout, I'm a clout chasing. What I'm clout chasing off? I got 326 subscribers. Nobody watches. Nobody. Because people don't want to hear the truth, do you? You don't want to hear honesty. Anybody that's honest, nobody listens. All you want to talk about a bunch of celebrities. Are they putting any food in your pocket? You putting money in your pocket? They putting any food in your stomach? That's all y'all want to talk about. Uh, Megan Good is getting divorced. Who cares? What is that doing for me? We worry about the wrong thing. We don't worry. We need to worry about our household instead of worrying about these celebrities. What they eat don't make me blank. All y'all want is a bunch of gossip, man. Gossip, gossip like little girls. Come on, let's just face it. You love clout. Y'all love clout chasers. Because if you don't talk about people, nobody even watch. Beef sells. Beef sells. Why you think, why you think, look at Nas and Jay-Z. Why you think Jay-Z put Takeover on his album? Why? Because, because the beef with Nas sold. Look at Nas put ether on Stillmatic because it sells, beef sells. You love beef. I talk about regular stuff. I can barely get 30 views. But as soon as I make a video about Kwame, I get over 150. I talk about Ticket TV, got 2,000 views. But when I talk about regular stuff, nobody listens. Black people is terrible. And you wonder why we never get anywhere. Because we want to destroy each other, don't we? 
Why you think we out here killing each other? Because all we can do is hate. Like Pac said, and they say it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the killing here. Why are we blaming white people, but we destroying each other? It's all on YouTube. All we do is talk about each other. Why can't we collab? I would like to collab with Ticket. I would like to collab with um, LVZ. I would like to collab with Kwame. I would like to collab. Everybody should a a a Weezy bang. Everybody should just come together instead of beefing all the time. That's all I'm saying. Carcino, I wish we could all come together instead of beefing. Beefing don't sell nothing. Then you got some channels, these debate channels, right? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let's just keep it real. You got these debate channels where what they'll do is they'll try to expose somebody, right? But really, they, but they're exposing people for clout, though, right? But yet, people want to call me a clout chaser. What I'm clout chasing off? I'm not making no money off of this. It's all we can do, exposing. You ain't exposing nobody. You exposing somebody to get views. That's what pisses me off about y'all. That's why black people are out here dying every day. Because all you, when you hear destruction, you see this, all you want to hear is destruction. Yeah, you wonder why your life is destructive. You wonder why the black community is, is, is dying. Because what you hear is what you do. All you want to hear is a bunch of nonsense, man. All you want to hear about is a bunch of fighting. Why we all can't come together? Instead of doing all this nitpicking and, and sneak dissing, and why do all of that? What I get out of it, I don't like putting people down. That was not it at all. But when you don't talk about people, you don't get no views. Why you think rappers make these silly little beefs? Because beef sell. Beef gonna sell the records like Tupac. May hit him up. Soon as he may hit him up, he sold five million. Because beef sells. It sells. Keep dissing somebody. Dissing people, it turns people on. But we got a bunch of grown, what really made me disappointed is that we got a bunch of grown men out here that love beef. These YouTube people, they act like a bunch of little girls. It's sad, man. Every day, I might make a little video about somebody here and there, but I know you know who I'm talking about. Every day they making a video about somebody. Making, making debates about people. No, you clout chasing. I don't got a clout chase off nobody. But I know what it is. Nobody watches me. Because people don't want to hear the truth. You're scared of the truth. You running, it's sad. You're running from channel to channel, running away from the problem instead of trying to solve. I'm trying to solve the problem. Don't nobody want to solve the problem. Because unsolved problems bring more, bring more attention. I make dating videos. We got all these clowns out here. And I want to talk about this, man, because I got a lot to get off my chest. We got all these clowns on these, these, these guys on YouTube, these dating coaches. They're a bunch of clowns, a bunch of, they, all they doing, they're a bunch of leeches. Selling you a dream. Telling you about, yeah, you need to do, you need to do this and you need to do that, and you need to do this, and and none of and these guys are still alone. Telling you what you want to hear instead of telling you what you need to hear. All I try to do is be honest, but nobody wants to hear honesty. Honesty is honesty doesn't sell, but I refuse to change who I am. I was honest about Kwame Brown. I like Kwame Brown. I know hate towards this man. I just wish that he would have put in more work. If he would have put in a little bit of work, then he could then he could have been better. Why do you think the difference between it's the difference between the Magics, between the Michaels, between the Kobe's, between the LeBrons, between the KDs, between the Larrys, between between the Stephs? 
because they put in the work. That's why they're great players. Dr. J's, Dominique's, Dirk Nowinski. They put in the work to be great. They put in Kawhi. They put in the, 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 the they put in the work. Kyrie, when healthy, they put in the work. He could have been great if he would have put in the work. But he lasted 12 years. I can't knock him for that. A lot of some people can't make 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 <laughs> some people can't last an NBA for 12 minutes. <laughs> Come on, man, talk to me. Why I'm a clout chaser. When I get out, I'm not, you don't see now PayPal in, in, in my description box. You don't see no join. You don't see none of that foolishness. That's what bothers me about YouTube. Is that we can't never just talk about nothing positive. Because let's face it, positive, it stinks to be positive. Doesn't it? You just you scoop all my videos, people scroll past it. But as soon as I talk about Kwame Brown, I get over 150. Then you wonder why the black race is dying. Because all we want to do is destroy each other. It's sad, man. It's sad rappers are dying. Because we're not, we, instead of trying to help each other, we'd rather kill each other. All you want to do every day, these YouTubers is bickering and fighting every day. I'm sick of it, man. Making videos two, three hours about the same person. Come on, man. A person got that much power over you. Y'all, it's sad, man. It is very sad that our black people are. And not just black people, people in general, because because beef sells, doesn't it? Be honest. If if Nas wouldn't have made Ether, nobody would have bought Stillmatic. <laughs> nobody wouldn't have bought that album. What made you buy that album was him dissing Jay-Z, right? Tupac made hit him up. He was dissing Nas. I mean, dissing Biggie. It made him more appealing. Beef sales. Why you think hip hop? you think look at look at 50 Cent. He made a career off of dissing Ja Rule. <laughs> you diss Ja Rule, but you take Ja Rule's style, right? Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. <laughs> you diss, you diss. You diss Ja Rule, but you take Ja Rule's style. You joke Ja, ja, ja Rule for singing, but yet you're singing, but 50 Cent sings and, and tracks. <laughs> Beef sales. Be honest. Beef sales. Y'all like people who's fighting and bickering. We just can't make regular videos, because regular videos don't sell. <laughs> but that's it. That's all. I ain't no clout chaser. I'm just a man telling the truth. Deuces.